we had to dismantle it about five, six years ago. Mm. And the dismantling is a big problem and it cost us more than double the original cost of building the power plant. Mm. And every lot of the structural material have all become radioactive. Oh. How do you remove them? Then finally we found out, we thought that we would take the radio reactor vessel out from there by ship and all that, mm. and nobody permitted it, so that's also lying on the site there. Oh, it's still lying. Now, the life of these plants, mm. all these nuclear power plants, is somewhere about 30 years. Mm. May, that 30 years is coming to an end in many of the nuclear power plants in America. Yeah. So there is a need to extend the life of these plants. And extending the life of the power plant is not that easy, especially a nuclear power plant. Mm. Because the very radioactivity mm. and the millions of welds that we have got, they will have degenerated. Mm. What happens to them, we don't know. Mm. And it could be a bad decision to extend a plant by another uh, five years. Mm. Because your vulnerability to uh, explosion and damage and release of activity is much higher. So that's a very big problem that the U.S. government is battling now. Yeah. And roughly, you can say, to dismantle a nuclear power plant mm. would be at least one and a half times the cost of building a nuclear power plant. <laughs> so if we build, theoretically, you know, I'm giving some ballpark figures, don't hold me to every one of these little details, because this is a fairly casual conversation in which I am telling you facts, but uh, not with precise figures. Yeah. You spend, say, um, six power plants, mm. and uh, I'm almost sure it will end up at 10 billion a plant, mm. 60 billion. Mm. So 30 years you will use it, mm. and after 30, let's say 35, 40 years, mm. you will be spending 120 billion <laughs> to dismantle it. <laughs> and then you don't know where to take it. Yeah. You will have to leave it there. At least as of now. Absolutely. And even the existing ones. Even uh, the? Even the existing power plant, nuclear power plants that we have in the country. Yes. And they run the danger in the next ten, couple of decades. Yeah. Well, uh, not decades, uh, yeah. less than a decade. Less than a decade, yeah. Less than a decade. Yeah, yeah. So, so now, you, you asked a very intelligent question. Yeah. What about the costs? Yeah. Are you going to crank in the cost of dismantling also into this <laughs> or not? Yeah. And how does it end up being cheap? Right? That's the question to ask actually. Yeah. It's very, very, very good point you are making. Yes. Yeah. That's important too. Yeah, it's expensive in every way. Oh. Yep. Very true. Very true. Yeah. Funny, we still make it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you, Doctor. One, 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 one. That, uh, uh, that Washington yeah. State. Uh, 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 okay, you, you, you mentioned this uh, Washington State has yes, this yes, large yes. dump. Okay. Um, yeah, cost of dismantling is a good question. It just occurred to me that, uh, you know, the, we have a large uh, area near Tacoma, Washington State, mm. that's where Seattle is and all, mm. where we have, the United States has dumped nuclear waste. Mm. It's a nuclear waste facility. Mm. Uh, nuclear waste is being generated from the time of the first Hiroshima atom bomb till now. Mm. A lot of it, fairly low grade. I'm not talking the spent fuel. Mm. We are talking of other types of nuclear materials. Mm. During the processing of the material, even medical uh, medical uses of material, mm. they have all been dumped in that area. Mm. And it occupies several square miles. And many of the tanks are leaking. Underground water has already been messed up completely. Mm. Huge is an underground reservoir, so water has been messed up because it has got all these leaching materials. Mm. And some of the stored materials sometimes spontaneously catch fire. Mm. And it's one of the largest messes in the world. Mm. And I remember in uh, Clinton's administration, uh, the energy secretary was asked, what does it cost to clean up this mess? Mm. Don't ask me how you clean up. Mm. That's a different story. Mm. What does it cost to clean up the mess? Mm. The energy secretary to Clinton gave one line answer. Mm. All that we have got. That means the entire assets and resources of the United States will be required mm. to clean up that facility. Right, right. Yes, my God, the answer <laughs> for that one, and who knows? I don't know. 
with our civilization will survive all these things. Thank you, Dr. Andekrishnan. Thank you so much. You're welcome, but I have made a few points for for people to think a lot. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. And what should be our priorities? Yeah. Should we be the guinea pigs for somebody to experiment on us? Yeah. Can we afford it? Should we afford it? Should we be wiser? Mm. Do we have alternatives? Mm. So, All right. Thanks a lot, Sanjay, thank for giving me the opportunity to share some of my thoughts with you. Thank you. Thanks.